Hello boys and girls and welcome to another lesson of science in daily life in the grade 9 classroom. I am Miss Freeman and I'm here to take you on an informative lesson as we explore on sexually transmitted diseases. Our objectives for today is to 1. To differentiate between STIs and STDs, to identify the types or categories of STIs, and to list the common symptoms of an STI. Now, talking about this topic can be very embarrassing for most persons due to the stigma that are often attached to these issues. Due to this, many of those infected simply choose to ignore their condition and avoid facing the problem. However, this doesn't help since most of the time, STIs can be treated with proper medication and prevention with well-known precautions. Now, what is an STI? STI basically represents sexually transmitted infections. Now, STIs are infections that have not yet developed into diseases. And these can include bacteria, viruses, or parasites such as pubic lice. They are usually transmitted during sexual activities through an exchange of bodily fluids or skin-to-skin -skin contact where that infection is usually active. Now boys and girls, non-sexual activities in which bodily fluids are exchanged can also transmit STIs. For example, People who share needles can infect each other with HIV. Now you might ask, we talk a little bit about STIs. What are STD? Or what does STD stand for? STD represents sexually transmitted diseases. STDs, on the other hand, are diseases that result from STIs and are therefore suggested a more serious problem. All STDs start out as an infection. Pathogens enter the body and begin multiplying. When these pathogens disrupt normal body functions or damages the structure of our body, they become an STD. However, some STIs may never develop into diseases. For example, HPV can go away on their own. Sexually transmitted infections are infections generally. They spread by close sexual contact and sexual intercourse. They can spread by contact with an infective partner via the skin, genitals, bodily fluids, or your mucous membrane, for example, the eyes and the mouth. Why is it important to learn about STIs? Now, it helps one to be able to take care of our own body. Also, untreated STIs can cause problems for a person's health and future ability to have children. It also helps to identify myths such as it's easy to tell a person if they have an STI or HIV because they will look sick. Really and truly, boys and girls, we cannot tell just by looking. Now, boys and girls, there are four categories of STIs. Namely, number one, bacterial STI. Two, viral STIs. Three, fungal STI, and the last one, parasitic STI. Now, some examples of bacterial STIs or STIs caused by a bacteria are chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis. Some examples of viral STIs or STIs 
caused by a virus are herpes, genital warts, HIV, and hepatitis. Some example of fungal STIs or STIs caused by a fungi are thrush and also jock itch. This is something like athlete's foot but around the genitals. Some examples of parasitic STIs are 1. Pubic lice and 2. Scabies. Now, we're talking about STIs and STDs. What are some common symptoms of an STI? First, you will have burning while urinating. There will also be itching in the genital. There will be discharge for females, different colors or amount or maybe a foul smell. For males, anything other than semen or urine. There will also be some sores, bumps or a rash on or around the genitals. It is common to also have no symptoms at all. Now, we're talking about the common symptoms. With symptoms will come some amount of complications. What are some complications of STIs? Here you can have infertility. Basically, the male and the female cannot have an offspring. Next, you have urinary tract complications. You can also have cervical cancer. You can have serious illness and even death. How can we prevent having an STI? And I will emphasize on this, boys and girls, abstinence is the way to go. But what does abstinence mean? Abstinence mean to not do something. Sexual abstinence mean to abstain from different levels of sexual activity. Now, boys and girls, this has brought us to the end of a very informative lesson on sexual transmitted infection. I am Miss Riemann. Do join me for another lesson as we expand more on the different types of STIs. Until next time, bye-bye.